Angular 1.2 released the idea of the controller as syntax, which allows you to take this methods from the controller and throw them right into the DOM. Now this is really more or less just syntactic sugar, but it's a way that people are going to start writing controllers, and it's a good thing for us to be able to test. So I've added to our Pi controller a method called request flavor, and it's on the instance of the Pi controller. And also there's a variable called scope.lastRequestedFlavor. Now, for a start, in our initialization checks, we want to check to see that last requested flavor is set to undefined. And it's also good to note that testing to see that a variable is undefined is a little bit redundant, but it's a good thing to do for the developers who may have to maintain the code later. We'll say scope.lastRequestedFlavor is undefined. Up here for the action handlers, we want to describe the new method. And we want to say request flavor. And we really only have one expectation for this method because all it's doing is acting as a setter, more or less. And we should say, to set scope, not last requested flavor, to the passed in argument. So we can just say controller dot request flavor cherry good pie flavor we can expect scope last requested flavor to equal cherry we'll go to the terminal start our unit test we have five five success